Three, two, one, go. All right, welcome to another Nomad Sculpt tutorial. So I have my Padawan here <laughs> and she's gonna do Nomad Sculpt for the very first time. Uh, she doesn't have any experience with Procreate or Nomad Sculpt or drawing or 3D. Uh, so we're just gonna see how this goes. So grab your Apple Pencil and we're gonna start. Nomad Sculpt is this icon here. And so this is just gonna be a super beginner's tutorial. We're gonna make something really simple. So the first thing that I do is I wanna change. So this is the 3D model. This is our 3D mesh, lots of different names, but right now all we have is a sphere. So we're gonna change that to a matte cap. All that means is that we're going to disregard all the lighting and stuff. And it just makes it look like clay and it's really easy to sculpt on. So tap the, I think it's the little sun icon. Yep, and then just hit matte cap. Perfect. All right, so so the first thing that we'll do is let's go over the the gizmo, and this is how you would move this around. So see that little cube over on the top right? A little like cube. It's got blue and green. That says front and bottom. Yeah. So tap front with your finger. You can do it with the pencil too, I think. Yeah. So that little cube will help you. Shh. That little cube will help you figure out the orientation. So you can move this around, but it's a sphere, like with your your pencil, your uh, finger. So you can move it around, and it's easy to kind of get lost. So you'd use that cube to know that you're looking at the exact front. So you can just tap that, and it goes to the front. So the first thing I like to do is make a floor. So if you look on the top left, there's like a little, there's like three little squares, that, that little icon. This one? Yep. And it's okay if you reach the screen is fine when you need uh -huh. to. So just hit add. Oops. Yep, perfect. And then we're gonna use a we're gonna use a box. So hit box. So anytime you add anything, it adds it right to the world center. Uh, this is auto save, so you can save it whatever you want. You can do it with your fingers. It's really easier. You can just type whatever. All right, perfect. So, and um, so now let's just make a floor out of this. So you see, you have uh, those little orange nodes and green nodes. You can take the top green node, and you can squeeze it. You can squish it down towards the bottom. So just drag it down towards the bottom. So that's good. Okay, perfect. So now what you want to do is we want to move this whole floor up to the red line that's in the middle. <clears throat> the red line in the middle is the horizon line. Shh. Cat is so loud. So basically we want to use the gizmo. So the gizmo is on the top right. Uh, it'll say gizmo. Yep. So now this gizmo is an easy way for you to control whatever the shape is. Right now we're controlling the floor. So if you move around with your finger, you can kind of get a better look at the gizmo. You can just, um, you don't have to touch the, the actual gizmo. You can just scroll around like next to it just on the screen yeah see mm -hmm. so the gizmo is directly in the middle and that will help you move uh, whatever shape so if you tap the sphere the gizmo is going to hop to the sphere so that's how you move shapes around in the 3d space perfect so just hit front and use that green arrow to move it up so that the top of the box is right in line with that red line uh, it doesn't have to be super super exact just that's just like a baseline for our floor perfect so, and just if you wanna play around with it, the red little dots, they will stretch in whatever direction. Uh, and of course, so you have up, you have up and down, left and right. And if you were to tilt it with your finger, you would see that you have forwards and backwards as well. And that would be like the, the blue arrow. And you can tilt it a little bit more so you can see the blue. Yeah, so that's the blue arrow if you wanted to bring something forward or backwards. But it's good to keep it right straight in the middle. Okay, so now let's take the sphere. So tap on the sphere and the gizmo will jump to the sphere with your finger. Oops, I have to undo that. No, 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 it's okay. It's just showing where you where you tapped. So now the gizmo is on the, uh, on the sphere. So take the orange outer ring and just shrink that. So you will shrink the sphere by shrinking the orange ring. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. So now let's move it up over the floor. 
So just take the green arrow for the sphere and just move it up so it's above the floor. Great. But should it be touching? Uh, it doesn't have to be. So this will just be the, the body. So as long as it's above the floor, then it's fine. So I usually don't like the grid. I find it kind of distracting. So let's get rid of the grid on the bottom left. Um, you'll see the grid is enabled. So that just takes the grid away. Uh, so you can take your fingers and just like you would a phone, you can make the you can make the models bigger and smaller by uh, the same way you would like a website. You don't have to do it on the gizmo. You can do it just next to it. Uh, and the only reason I say that is because if you were to, I think I have uh, finger touches disabled. Oh no, I don't. Because if you do something like this, then it could move that instead of just moving the thing. So you can move right next to the, yeah, you can just move like next to it. So you can shrink and make it bigger. And this is how you look at your 3D object in space. You can, you know, turn it and make it bigger and smaller. Perfect. Okay, great. So now let's make a little character. So what we want to do now is take the sphere and it's a bit round. So if he's looking at us, we want to turn it to the, to one of the sides and then we'll shrink it. So it's like, not, not like a sphere. So it's more like a, an oval kind of, so just take your finger and just turn it to the right, maybe. So just, yeah, just turn it to the right. Perfect. Just keep going. But you can move your finger towards the right instead of moving it down and it'll go <laughs> I don't understand. No, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Now you see the little cube? You see the right? That just means that you turned it to the right. Now you can tax a tap on left. that. That's fine. We turned it to the right and so we're looking at the left side. Oh. So you can tap that cube now and it will just, it'll hone in on the left side. So now we're just looking at the left side of it. And again, it is a little confusing because it's just a sphere, because it's the same on the front and the side. So now we're gonna change that. So take the little blue node and we're just gonna kind of shrink the body, like just smush the body together a little bit. Which way? Um, just so it's, so it's, you know, more like a random character's body. You can make it as plump or as thin as you want. Right now it's kind of like an M&M. &M. Now it's, yeah, it's perfect. That's right, like in, right in between an M&M &M and a Skittle. <clears throat> okay, good. So now turn your, uh, rotate your screen again. So we're looking at the front. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's very, oh my God. It's very interesting. I don't understand. <laughs> but it's interesting. You know why this is good though? Because there's a lot of people that are just starting out and they're going to be they're going to be going through the same thing. So it's actually good because I never actually thought of anything like this. Like I never thought anyone would move in such a wacky way. <laughs> so now this is the front. That's the front. Correct. So, so just for future reference, if you want to turn it, if you want to spin it, you can just spin it like this. Oh. So you can spin it and the only, it'll, it'll, it'll act, it'll uh, pivot. Like for example, I'm touching this now. So now the pivot's kind of in the middle, so that's why it's moving this way. Whereas if I'm if I'm not on it, it kind of moves a different way. Um, but yeah, if you want to spin it, just like spin it like this, and it'll kind of spin. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like actually. This is kind of like what you were doing, like rotating, which is fine. But but it's good to know. So you can just kind of like rotate it this way and just watch the cube. So now you can you can tap the cube. All right, perfect. So let's make this character into, um, let's give him some legs first. So we'll take that same little icon on the top left. Now this is like the, the three little blocks. Okay, so this is our scene menu. So you see the sphere in the box. Those are our shapes. So the sphere we, is now the body. So tap the three little dots and name. And you can just call that body. Okay, perfect. And the box you can just call floor. I usually do FLR. Okay, so now let's take the, let's do add and let's add another sphere. All right, perfect. So now you have to tap the gizmo. So to see the gizmo up there, 
so essentially right now, and I haven't, I didn't really go over this, but it's okay, you can leave it for now. I didn't really go over this, but validate is, that will actually bring your, these shapes, these are called primitives. So these shapes are called primitives, the box, the sphere. And you can, there's some things that you can do to primitives before you actually work on them. So let's just hit validate. And now it's part of the scene. Now we have all our, all our tools. So we're already selected on the big sphere that we just brought in. So all you need to do now is move it up and just make it smaller than the body. So those are the only two things that you can do. And I'll let you kind of try and remember how to do that. Oops. So if you want to go back, just double tap. How do I, I don't remember how to move it up. Oh, that's okay. So first let's double tap. Let's have you go back. So you can just, um, yeah, with your with two fingers. Sorry, two finger single tap. There we go. So let's go forward one. There's, there's, these are also um, parts here. So I shouldn't have said I shouldn't have said double tap. I was wrong. It's just a single tap with two fingers will undo. So now we're back at our regular sphere. Um, but oh wait, I know how to make it smaller like this. Perfect. Yep. So the orange ring makes it smaller. And now you all you have to do is you know, is you want to move it up a little bit so it's like above the floor. Okay, that's all right. Oops. So hit your hit your front again. So let's just go back to our baseline. Okay, so now instead of taking the little green sphere, just take the arrow. Just tap the arrow, just uh, drag up the arrow and that'll move your shape. So the arrow will always move the shape. And that's good, you can make it a little bit smaller now with that outer orange ring, perfect. So just make it smaller and then just move it down a little bit so it's like, there you go. That's fine, that's perfect. So now we can't really see it because it's inside the other sphere, but that's okay. That's gonna be two legs. So this is how we'll do two legs. So go back to our scene menu, which is the three little blocks on the left. And so take the sphere and rename that leg. You said it was gonna be two legs. Yeah, it will be. You can put legs if you if you feel more comfortable. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so we have legs here. So an easy way to make one leg into two. So hit add, and then go down to the red repeaters, and just hit mirror. Okay, so now essentially it's mirrored, and we could have did this a few steps uh, a few steps back, but. That's okay. So now let's hit the gizmo. So on the top, you see like the validate and everything. So on the top, you see gizmo, it's grayed out. It's a bit hidden, but there's a gizmo right at the top. Perfect. So, and remember, if you look in the scene menu here, we have our little mirror that we just made and our leg is underneath or our legs. So take the red arrow and just slide it uh, one way or the other. So it's not really is not really making two and I'll show you why. So take, do a two finger tap. Okay, so go back to the scene menu, which is the, the little blocks. Yep, perfect. So hit legs. So right now we're on the mirror. So just tap on the legs. You can tap on the, on, yeah, that's, that's, that's good. I'm not sure if it'll make a difference, but let's just make it only on the legs. So take the red arrow and now we'll just move it. And now we have, now we have two legs. So you can move them apart. So then now, essentially what's happening is our one sphere is mirrored. So, and right now you're dealing with the right, that's like the main, the main one that the gizmo is on. So you can take that and if you wanna leave the legs like that, you can take the green little node, the green little sphere, and you can stretch them out a little bit if you want. If you wanna make them a little more, and you can make them skinnier with the red sphere if you want to do that, make them real skinny. Dang. Okay, so, and also remember you have to turn turn and see how, what it looks like on the side as well. So just remember to take your finger and sort of just move it a little bit and see how it looks from the side. I think it looks pretty good. Looks good. Okay, so let's hit our front. I think it's easier with your finger. I usually just use my finger. Okay. So, 
So now we're happy with the legs. So let's go up to the scene menu. Perfect. And uh, to make things easier, um, we can actually clone the whole mirror and the legs together and, and just change the name to arms, or we can just add another sphere and mirror it. So whichever one you think you want to do, if you want to clone them, you can take both of those and then hit clone at the top. So now we have two of them. So just rename one of the legs, or you can just rename the mirror as well. Uh, just name one of them arms and whichever one that one is, we'll work with next. Okay, good. So now, uh, if you go if you go back into the scene, you want to just make sure that you're on the the actual. Where are my arms? Just tap on the even though it's called legs, but tap on the legs within the arms. So if you want to change the name of that so it's not confusing, that might help too. Uh, a lot of times, I I will rename every single thing that I'm working on because when you have like a hundred of them, it gets really confusing. So. So now let's take the, use your arrows and let's move the arms to where they would be. And also you don't have to make the menu go away. Once you start working on it, it'll go away automatically as well. Oh. So you can use your arrows and just kind of move them in a way and just find a place that the arms might be. Oh, I think you, I think you, um, so hit undo. Perfect. So I think what happened there is see this in the gizmo, Sometimes what happens is other things get in the way. So I'm actually I'm not sure what happened. There we go. So sometimes you have to kind of move the gizmo around because things will get in the way. And then, because I think you were hitting this, you might've been hitting this instead of, instead of up. So that's one thing that's kind of annoying with the gizmo is you have to make sure that you're directly on um, whatever you're trying to use. Perfect. So you just move that up. And then you'll just have to separate them with the red arrow until you can kind of see them. Perfect. No, that's good. That's perfect. So now you can kind of place where you where you would want the arms. Personally, I would like bring them maybe bring them down a little bit. And uh, you see the see those uh, those colored rings. Like there's a green ring, a red ring, and a blue ring. I would probably take the blue, and then I would I would sort of rotate it so that the top of the arms are going in the body a little bit. And you'll see which way I mean once you kind of rotate one way and then the other way. Okay, that's good, but I do the exact opposite. <laughs> but that's good, so just make sure, yeah, just rotate it. You said into the body. So the sho more the shoulder, that's perfect. I think that's good. I think that's good. <laughs> so, I mean his shoulders, not his, not his hands. But that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> I think you're doing great. Okay. All right. Cool. So I think that, I think that's I think that's really good. It's looking really good. So next, uh, do you want to put some? Do you want to put like two little fingers on them? Sure. Okay. So uh, tap on the tap on the left arm. Okay. So now. I, what I what I like to do is there's a thing called uh, voxel remeshing, and sometimes when you want to use other tools, you have to make you have to make it more dense. Why does it still say legs? Let's take a look at the scene here. Oh, now it switched to arms. That was weird. Hmm. Maybe he has <laughs> one arm down here. Okay, so so let's voxel remesh this. So go to the top. Well, that's good. That that's actually a shortcut. Um, but they might not have um, people that are just starting out. They might not have the shortcut yet. So okay, so it's not on that one. Let's. And I think it's the one right to the right of that. Okay, perfect. So go to voxel, and let's just keep it at one eighty. Let's actually let's slide it up to two hundred. So you can use your your finger or the Thing. So we'll just make it 200 and then hit remesh. It's okay if it's not exactly on 200, but apparently <laughs> I can't. that's perfect. So just hit remesh. This? Yep. Okay. So now the arms are a little bit remeshed. If you zoom in, let's see if they, they might look a little, 
Okay, no, they look good. Uh -oh. You can just undo. Perfect. Yeah, that's the only problem if you try to move maneuver around the gizmo. So when you maneuver, just move maneuver away from the gizmo so you don't accidentally hit. Um, so now the arms, as you see the number up there, the arms are very dense. Whereas before they were only like 6,000. Now they're very dense. So let's take, uh, let's use a tool to make the fingers. So on the right, on the top right, tap the little wrench and uh, whatever that is, the very top right icon. And that'll shrink the toolbar. So these are all our tools. So let's use inflate. I think it's, for me, it's the fourth row down. Perfect. So we we'll use inflate and you don't have to, you don't have to. Um... So now just, let's just zoom in to kind of where the, where the hand, where the fingers would go. Perfect. So just kind of zoom in and you can sort of tilt it a little bit. Uh, if you want, like I'll probably maybe tilt it a little bit this way. Okay. So, and actually this thing might be in our way if you want to see underneath. So if you want to make that go away, just go to our scene menu. And just hit the little eyeball where it says floor. Yeah, so we don't we don't really need that at the moment. Okay, so now let's give him just two little fingers. So we're still on inflate. And so let's just use our Apple Pencil. And you can just sort of like, uh, just sort of scribble back and forth in one spot. And it will inflate the clay. So you'll find, you have to play around Where? with this. On the black or on the hand? On his, on, the... on his hand, yeah. Oh, actually, hit undo. Oh, that's actually not bad. But um, let's do one at a time. Oh. So let's just turn off symmetry on the left. Uh, yeah, let's turn off symmetry because we were doing the symmetry, even though that it could work, but let's just do one at a time. Okay, perfect. So now lift it up and then go back over it. What do you mean lift it up? Yeah, that was perfect. Okay, good. I think that's good. So now tilt it. <clears throat> it's perfect. So now tilt it and just figure out where you want the other finger to go. But that's good. And you don't really have to try to stretch it out. Like essentially, when you use the... <laughs> do, I, do, I need, do I need to change the color or something? It's fine. <laughs> so let's make another one. Okay, so we'll make that we'll move that finger right <laughs> under the other finger. That's fine. Where is that supposed to go? <laughs> okay, good with the good with the end. Let's let's do it like a like maybe to the right of the other finger. Up but, here? Nope. Let's do it like just to the other right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so maybe around this area. And yeah, so just kind of do it in a circular motion, and then lift up, because then it'll reset and you can pull that out a little bit more. Well, you don't have to really stretch it. You can just do the same thing. So once you lift up, then you can do it in a circle again and it'll build out. Is it working? Yeah, the only problem is, is when, you, when you're when you going over it, you're sort of dragging the pencil down a little bit. And if you just do just a regular circle, it'll just build up that spot. That's perfect. Yeah, that's good. That was, that was much better. So if you uh, scroll out a little bit, you'll notice that it did them on the same side, on the other side as well. Because Remember, our sphere is in a mirror, so therefore everything you do to one side will be on the other side. So that re looks really good. It looks really cute right now. The only other thing I want to do on the hand, so just kind of move it so you're looking underneath the fingers. Perfect. And you can zoom in a little bit. Okay, good. So let's take the flatten tool on the top right. Okay, perfect. Uh, and you can make the size a little bigger. So those two little orange bars, the one on the top is the like the radius, so that'll be the size. So as you move it up, you'll see that the circle will get a little bit bigger. Okay, I think that's that's probably good. So then we're just gonna flatten out the bottom part of the hand. So kind of in a circular fashion like you did before, just sort of flatten out that space underneath the fingers because that would probably be where the palm would be. Like right there. Yeah, but just try not to hit the fingers too much or you'll flatten the fingers as well. And you can make a little bit of a bigger, a bigger stroke. 
Okay, you can tilt it a bit more. So you're looking more on the underside. Perfect, so now just make like a, a much bigger, there you go, that's perfect. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So now let's just smooth it out. So right above the flatten tool is smooth. You might have to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, and that's the same way, those two little bars. Okay, and just smooth that out, but um, just do it nice and gently and delicately. Um, and you can kind of smooth it out. You can smooth it out in bigger portions because we also need to smooth out the fingers as well. So just smooth out like around the, the edges. Area. Yeah, the whole area and smooth that around the fingers too and you'll notice that the fingers the shape will change a little bit but that's okay um, and that's the only reason why we're kind of doing it a little bit softly so now let's just scroll it um, let's just pan out so we're looking at the front again that's okay uh -oh. <laughs> he's lost in space and you actually don't have to change position to I don't like. Understand why I can't get them. Yeah, you don't have to change position where your finger is. So like, just use two fingers and you can scroll it. Like, just take two fingers. <laughs> oh, you're doing good. Just take two fingers. Take your other fingers. Take your thumb and your index finger. Now just pinch it a little bit. Good. So, so just hold those two fingers there and rotate. Oh wait, hold on. I think you want to do it back. So there you go. Perfect. And now just take those same two fingers in the same spot, lift them up, and then, so just like pinch it out so it gets bigger, like you were doing. Yeah, so you don't have to move your fingers around too much. You know, like you can still, you can touch, you can touch where it is, but all you need to do is just rotate with, you know, these fingers, kind of like that. <clears throat> Padawan is taking a drink. <laughs> okay, perfect, I think this is so cute. Okay, so now let's bring the floor back. So go to the little scene menu and we'll bring back the floor. So hit the little eyeball. And now let's hit our little cube on the right so we can look at the exact front. Perfect, so let's trim the little feet. So tap on one of the legs. Tap with your finger probably. There you go. Um, so now let's go back into the scene menu and let's go ahead and validate these, uh, these legs. So go to the mirror above the legs. The dots? Uh, no, you can just tap on the, you can just, there you go. And hit validate and join children, yes. Okay, perfect. So now uh, what we're gonna do is just trim the legs. So take the trim tool, perfect. And now let's hit the little, on the left, let's hit the square or the rectangle. So if you look on the very left bar, so those are the options for the trim tool. Right here? Yep. And if you right in the middle, there's like a there's this? like a rectangle. Perfect. And that's good. You don't have to hit square. So now we're just going to make a rectangle. So just start somewhere like below the legs, like maybe on the black screen and to the left more. So we're just going to make a box and everything in that box will be trimmed. So you just want to make the top of the box the bottom of the legs. So, cause right now the legs are kind of extending into the floor. So all you have to do is make a box and where the top of that floor is, you want the top of the box to be. Almost. I don't understand. Almost. No, that's good. So essentially you want to make a box so that, uh, the, so that the top of the box, everything that's white will be trimmed. So if you make a box with your but little thing. white. Oh, no, no. So use your you use the, yeah. Use the apple pencil and just make a rectangle underneath the legs. There you go. So now instead of going down, go up. There you go. Perfect. So now line up the top of that box with perfect. So now just stretch it to the right and more. So now it's going to trim both of those legs underneath the red or underneath the. Uh, underneath the floor. So just let go now. Perfect. So the only thing you did was you kind of brought it up a little bit when you let it go. So that's why it trimmed the top. But other than that, it was it was perfect. So you can just hit undo and just make another quick rectangle. But it's easier. You can let it you can let it go. 
It's easier if you start from below. Yeah, because then you can, it's easier to bring the top up and line it up versus trying to get it at first. Do you think that's good? Yeah, yeah, I think that's perfect. That was perfect. So now the legs are actually flat where they were. Okay, so let's just make some, let's just make some eyes for this character and then we'll, and then we can do some really quick lighting. Uh, but it looks really good. The shapes are really good. It's actually really cute. Um, maybe we'll, no, I won't make you do ears. We'll just do eyes. So let's take, uh, let's use the clay tool and tap on your sphere with your finger, tap on the body, perfect. So now let's tap on sub. So if you go to the left, those are your clay tool settings. So tap sub, perfect. And uh, so now we just need to make some depressions in the body because those are where the eyes are gonna go and we're just gonna add some spheres later for the eyes. So essentially, you can make your eyes kind of spaced out like this. It's just gonna make like deep depressions. So you can practice it now, we can always undo. So you can kind of get a feel of what I'm talking about. What the heck? <laughs> no, that's good. That's good, that's what it's supposed to be doing. So you can I'm just- I'm supposed to draw in a circle. Um, yeah, just make a circle. So this is almost like an eye socket. So if you just make like two little circles and just keep going and just keep making them like deeper and deeper. I think that's good. That's perfect. But they're so close together. So if you want to make them further apart, then you can just undo and then you can just, you can just make the circles further apart. And here's another quick uh, tip. If you go on the top on symmetry, the little, so if you go on the top, the fourth icon over there's like that little triangle this one yep so just tap that and then if you scroll down so you might have to scroll yeah, you can just drag that up perfect and then just hit show line so just tap the little box next to show line perfect so now just tap on your sphere again and now you see the symmetry line so everything you make on one side you can you can just see the line that we're working on so you can make the eyes as close or as far apart as you want um, but this is this is kind of one of the biggest you know artistic stylization things is like how far the eyes are apart <clears throat> how high they are on the body you like that mm -hmm. okay good so the only thing we want to do is just make them deeper in the body so yeah so just kind of make them deeper perfect okay good Good, Padawan is, is giggling. I think it looks good. So now we'll take Smooth, the Smooth tool, and just very gently, you don't wanna to put too much pressure. Um, I, it's hard for me, I can't really tell how much pressure. I never use that much pressure, but you just wanna smooth out the edges. So just kind of smooth out that whole general area. Just very like tenderly. You can go a little bit faster. I'm trying to do it softly. Oh yeah, you can do it, you can do it soft, but, but fastly. <laughs> Does that look good? Yeah, it looks good. The only thing is you can go a little bit outside of your circle. That way the whole thing kind of gets smooth. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect, that looks great. So next we're gonna put two other, so just add another sphere to the scene. Perfect, okay. now just, no, that's good. Yeah, you just hit add. So you're in the right, then you're in the right mm -hmm. menu, you just hit add and sphere. Okay, so now just hit your gizmo. Perfect. And now um, what I like to do is, uh, yeah, sometimes I move it up and shrink it, or you can shrink it and move it up. Come on. So now what you want to do is just shrink it and then move it up to where the eyes are while I get the cat off here. Okay. Go ahead. See? Mm -hmm. really small no that's good you Where just keep, is it? you just can't see it because it's inside the other sphere oh so now is when you might want to tilt and bring it forward and we'll get to see what it looks like so maybe just tilt the whole scene with your finger yeah and then use the blue to bring it like forward the arrow yeah the blue arrow there you go so that's good so now you can hit for you can hit uh, front again with your finger 
or the thing yeah so and just shrink it so now you can just see where it is so you can make it roughly the same size as the eye you can move it up a little bit there we go so now hit our gizmo again on the top on the very top um right in the middle right above the body there's another gizmo button there you go perfect so this brings up now we didn't validate this shape that's why if you notice on the right we don't have all our tools so let's hit mirror first so that's the same thing as we did before but this is the shorter way so now let's hit validate okay and we have our gizmo back and now you can separate and it'll do the same thing that it did with the legs perfect so now let's move them back in space until they're kind of in those eye sockets so you might have to tilt it again with your finger, tilt the seam a little bit, just so you can see that blue. You can probably tilt it down, it's probably better, easier. There you oh. go. The blue line. The blue arrow. There you go. They need to go this way. Okay, good. Oh, it looks good. So now just hit the front again so you can see the front view. And um, and then what I would do is just kind of like hone them in. So you might have to just move them and adjust them until they're kind of in those eye sockets until they look good. So, you know, sometimes it does involve a lot of like turning the canvas and things like that. But I think that looks good. Got a little deep set. Um, well, it's hard to see from the front. You can turn it and just see how actually how deep the eyes are. Oh, I think they're good. I think they're. I think that looks nice. Oh, uh oh, here we go again. I can't do it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So just remember to use your two fingers and pinch to move it around the screen. Okay. All right. Perfect. <laughs> it's doing good. I think it's really cute. Okay, so uh, so now let's zoom in a little bit. And actually, let's take, uh, so if we, if we look at our scene menu, let's make sure that we, um, that we rename. Actually, let's just go ahead and validate that one mirror with the eyes. So right now we're on the sphere. Let's... This one? Uh, oh. No, we want to have the one with the eyes. Where's so just, that? that's the one, that's the mirror that you were just, you were just on it. Um, this one? Yep. Perfect. So now hit validate. Join children. So let's rename that eyes. Okay, perfect. Um, so now let's let's clone this. So you can either hit clone on the top, or you can hit the three dots and hit clone. And let's rename this this ears. All right, great. So uh, let's see. So this is what happens sometimes. The pivot will move. If you notice, the gizmo is like somewhere random where it shouldn't be. So hit pivot on the left, on the left side. Yep, and now hit center. Perfect, and now hit pivot again. So basically we just reset our pivot to where the ears will be. So let's move the ears up with the green arrow. Oh, uh oh, I think you might have. So yeah, just hit undo. Oh. oh no. So let's oh. hit. So let's hit the forward. You can do hit three. What? You, you can do a three finger tap, and this actually will do the opposite of undo. So yeah, you just have to make sure that you're on the green. Oh, oh you know what? You're on the body. So just hit undo again, and that's okay. Did I undo it? I mean, yeah, yeah, you undid it. So now hit the scene button. Are you doing? It's the other on the body. Okay. Well, now we're on the eyes. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Either. I look away for a moment. Oh wait, now we're on the ears. There you go. So now you're on the ears. So the only problem is, is you want to make sure that you, um, if you sometimes move things around like a little too slow then that also has an effect. 
So there we go. You kind of have it. The only problem is... What's wrong with it? Oh, I think that works. I just wanted to make sure that you didn't... I think you probably tilted it, but that's okay. Oh. So let's hit front. Oh, yeah. See, it's a little tilted, but... What's tilted? Um, here, I'll show you. So sometimes if you accidentally hit uh, this, but you don't uh. realize it, so then it'll be it'll just stay tilted. So that's why a lot of people actually uh, lose their symmetry and they're saying, why why doesn't this thing work the way it is? Because if you if it, that happens, then you might not notice. So, so now it should be straight. You should be able to just bring it up now with the green arrow. Perfect. So now let's move it back uh, on the head a little bit more. So you might have to tilt it. And you can just put them in any position you want the ears to be. So just kind of bring them down a little bit you can stretch them up with the what do you mean bring them down this way yeah whatever way that you want what kind of ears do you want like cat ears or you just want like round ears um i'm not sure okay well let's stick with this kind of ear let's use that blue that blue little round node yeah let's just squish them in a little bit there you go perfect Okay, that's good. So let's hit front. Okay, so we want the ears to be connected to the body a little bit. So let's just move them so that they're kind of like going into the body. Do I do that with the green arrow? Yeah, the green arrow a little bit. And then I think, I think you're a little bit in front of the body. How do I fix that? So just take your finger and just kind of scroll a little bit and you can move around to one side there you go yep and now use the blue arrow and just move them back okay you can keep going a little More. bit yeah i would put them a little bit further back maybe a little bit more oh well, that's that's kind of cute yeah okay. that's kind of cute so now let's look at the front again Wait, <laughs> so you're doing great. You're doing great. You know, I can't turn him. Oh, just one finger. And just, so. yeah, right, yeah, there you go, right where you are. Perfect. Perfect. So I would bring them down a little bit. Okay, perfect. And the only other thing that I would do is... I think they're too round. You're too round, so you can stretch them with the green node on top. You can kind of stretch them up a little bit. And you don't have to press that hard. I can't tell if you are, but you don't have to press that hard. You can long ears. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. That's really cute, actually. So lastly, the only thing I want to do, let's, let's give them like a little mouth. So let's use the crease tool. It should be right next to the gizmo, which is selected. Okay. And we want to do it on the body. So just tap the body. Okay. And let's zoom in. So just, yeah, just zoom, pinch in. Perfect. And we want to make like a semicircle, uh, maybe right, not right directly in the middle of the eyes, maybe towards the bottom of the eyes, just and you can practice before. Up here? Yeah, I think we want to make it up high. You want to do it lower? You can do it actually wherever you want. <laughs> Hit front. Make sure you're, let's just make sure you're straight. There you go. Draw a semicircle. Yeah, so you can draw to just kind of get a feel of the crease tool and what it looks like and things like that. And I think, oh, I see it and I see what you're doing. Uh, so let's undo that because we're going to do a more simple because I see you have it so the mouth is open. There you go. Perfect. Keep going. So um, we can do it if the mouth is open, but that'll take a little bit longer. Oh. So we'll just do like a regular closed mouth. Oh. So I would do a mouth just a little a bit. I would do the mouth a little bit higher, but I would probably make my character a little more happy. If you do it in a straight line, he's going to look very <laughs> like unused. <laughs> So you can just do like half of like a smiley like because this. yeah yeah but you're remember you you want to use the symmetry to your advantage. 
So you can go ahead and, and practice that and you'll kind of see what I mean. There you go. That's good. And you can undo if you want to if you want to redo it. He's so cute. It's cute, right? Yeah, yeah. I like it. Do so you want to leave it like that? I think so. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, so Okay, I like this. So the only other th no, actually we'll leave it. I think this is I think this is really good for now. So let's go ahead and first let's save so hit the little folder on the top left and let's save okay good because it does auto saves but i don't trust auto saves so now let's change it from matcap to lit pbr so go to the little sun uh, icon on the top left and change from matcap to lit pbr perfect so now it's it's all white so let's go to the scene menu. And what I like to do is select everything. So just, yeah, just, you can drag down right in the middle of those boxes. You almost had it, just, um, just yeah, there, there you go. I think what had happened is you were starting to where they was already checked. Oh. So I think that's what was happening. So now I would go to on the bottom left, you'll see there's like a dark sphere with a line through it. And that's actually how I color. It's right under the gizmo on the left. On Where? The, on the bottom left side. You'll see gizmo. And then there's like right underneath it, there's a sphere with a line. Oh, so tap like that. Box. Yeah, so tap that. And uh, let's just make it a neutral color for now. So uh, what I usually use is tap that black sphere and then scroll down a little bit more and I usually use that second uh, that second sphere okay perfect so now just tap on the tap on the negative space right above the like right next to the, um, the sphere behind the little window so yeah or you can actually you can X that perfect so just hit paint all good and I just like to use this because it's uh, a neutral color and then we'll just do some really quick lighting and then you can just coloring it, color it and that's it. So for lighting, uh, we're going to go back to that little sun. Okay, good. And let's turn off the environment. So uncheck that box. Perfect. So now everything is black and this is great. This is how you want to light your scene. So let's add a light. Okay. Great, so let's take the little green arrow and just move this light over, or sorry, the red arrow. Just move it over to the right. It actually doesn't matter where this light is, but I just like to move them in different positions. Uh, the only thing that would affect this light is if you rotate it, but I think this is actually perfect. So let's just take the intensity and bump it up to two. And you can slide, you can slide on that thing, so slide to the right. I don't, I've never actually slid so far away from the window before. <laughs> but good to know that that works. So, perfect. Uh, so, uh, hit the three little dots. Another thing I like to do is hit soft shadows. Um, or softness. That? Yeah, I like to do that. Okay, that's great. So, so now let's go to our little sun icon on the top. And let's take, let's go to this light and right all the way to the right, you see the two little squares. That's the clone. So we're going to clone the light. So you just look at our light that you have, hit those boxes. Perfect. So now let's uh, put one finger on like the black of the screen. There you go. And tap on the light. And I'm not sure which one this is. Let's take a look at the sun again. I just want to make sure that we're using the same, the right, the correct light. Let's just tap the second one. Yeah, there we go. So now let's just move the um, move the red arrow, just so it's in a different spot. Move it over to the left, actually. All you can the move, way? Yeah, you can move it more to the left. Good. So now let's take the green ring, and essentially we just want to light it from the back so that we have a nice bright rim light. So just keep rotating it until you see that. Rotate it up. 
so the wrong way. so the green so you have to rotate in the direction of the ring there you go perfect so you can rotate it more until you see oops sorry that one is drinking so see the white see that white that's the direction of the light so essentially you want to you want to keep rotating until that white arrow is almost pointing right at you because that will mean the light is coming from uh, behind. What? What's it doing? I think you're not touching on the on the ring. There you go. Pointing at me? Yeah. Then I'd have to go back the other way. No, you can keep going the same way. There you go. Now, so now it's a little bit too far. So you have to go back. And keep going the other way. Nope. This way? Yeah, there you go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, stop. Okay, so you can probably go a little bit more, but you can also take like the red ring. And because right now the light is sort of pointing up a little bit. And if you want to bring it like just down the slightest bit, but you want to use the red ring. There you go. Perfect. Okay, I would say Oops. stop. That's good. So the only other thing I would do now is take the green ring and there's a little too much on his body. So if you rotate a little more towards your face, it'll get slimmer and slimmer. You keep going, no, you're doing right. It'll get slimmer and slimmer. And just remember with the green ring, you have to go in the direction of the ring. Oh. There you go, keep this going, way? keep, th th see Wrong that way? sliver? No, no, you were good, but you wanna get that sliver, see? See how nice that looks? Oh, yeah. You want to get that nice sliver uh, right behind. So that's actually that's actually perfect. Okay, that's great. So next, uh, let's just go ahead and hit the little sun thing again. The little sun icon, perfect. And let's turn back on the environment. Okay, so now let's go down and turn down the exposure because it's very bright right now. You can keep going to like one, like maybe a little below one. Okay, that's good. So now we go one icon to the right, you see the little shutter, and hit post process. So this is actually kind of all what it will actually look like. So let's bump up the quality. So right now it's at 1.25. So let's scroll that to the right. Okay, good. So now let's go back to our scene menu. All right, and let's select uh, everything again except for the lights so you can slide down in the middle right, right there slide down uh, and you can uncheck the lights you can uncheck the blue lights as well okay so now let's so two icons over you see like that little gridded sphere let's hit subsurface okay and now let's take the depth uh, which is yeah, right there and let's move that down a little bit so, so to the left Okay, keep going. Okay, I think that's I think that's good. All right. So next, uh, let's just give him some color. So what color do you think you want him? Mm. And the way that you change the color, if you want to take a look at some colors, yes. you can tap on a. You can let's say the body. You want to do the body, uh, and it's probably better to tap with your finger. Yeah. Um. So now they use your sphere here. And then you can just use whatever, you can find whatever color you want and also whatever texture you want too. So how did I find the colors before? So you can tap on the sphere and that will give you like, like set colors, or you can just use the color, the color thing below. She went for gold. Um, yep, that's my preference of these choices. But other ones maybe you could be... And you can also change the roughness and the metalness and all that stuff too. So right now everything is going to look shiny because your metalness is all the way up. Oh, I think you just, you were doing I it, but you just, it. I think you were, yeah, you just were a little too slow with it. This is what color he is? Yep, that's, that's the color there. Oh, I don't like that color. So you can change the roughness and you can change the color. What does the roughness do? Uh, so so go to the roughness and slide it up 
and just take a look at your character and you'll see the difference. So the roughness just takes away any gloss. And then whenever you're happy with the color, you just hit paint all, and it will paint whatever shape that you're on. Is there anything else you want to make that uh, shape or color? Like his arms and legs? Yes. So you can tap on the arms, and then you can just go right to the paint thing and then just hit paint all. to do his eyes. Yep, yeah. so then you just have to figure out what color you want the eyes. How do I make him white? And I rarely use that. I usually just use the color thing below. Uh, if which, you can, which way is white? So you would take this. Oh. You can move that around to wherever you'd like. And remember, it's still a bit shiny and has that metalness because there's still metalness. I usually have it off. And then you can just adjust the roughness of it as well. If you want the white to be kind of like glossy or if you want it to be matte. But it looks like it's gray, not white. Oh, that's, that's just a matter of like lighting. Okay, good. Now, do you want um, do you want like any color pupils, or are you just are you happy with them being white? No, he needs pupils. He needs pupils. Okay, so what I would do is I would clone the eyes. Okay, so now I would rename that pupils. Okay, and then I would color them whatever color I wanted, but you, you, it's going to be hard to see. So actually, it's probably better to use your gizmo and move them uh, like towards us a little bit. That way we can see them, because right now they're at the same location as the eyes. So, uh, and I don't know why the gizmo was down there, so let's do pivot on the left. And, re and center, and pivot again. There we go. And then I would probably just turn uh, would turn the uh, the screen space. There you go. Just so you can see the blue arrow and you can bring it forward a bit. Good. So now you can just color them whatever color you want. So now you can we can we can at least see what they look like. Black? Should they be different colors? No, no, black is, I usually use black for pupils. So the only thing you oh, want to do oops. is hit uh, paint all. And I would make them glossy, probably. So I would is turn... the metalness? No, I would, change, I would turn the roughness all the way down. And that would be a glossy. There you go. So let's hit paint all again. Good. So now you can just uh, move them back. Move them back? Yeah, so just move them back towards the eye into the eyes and now I would make them smaller so yeah I would make them smaller with the orange ring there you go and and now I would, <laughs> I would, I would bring them out forward bring them forward a bit oh. oops what I might have I to do? undo actually I think you're okay just bring it out uh oh I'm on the body. Yeah, so hit undo. Yep. You do have to tap on the black just so you know you're on the pupils. Okay. And here's 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 a, a way to make this part a little bit easier, I think. So hit front.
Okay, good. And move the, take the red arrow and just separate them a little bit. Well, actually they're, they're together, aren't they? Okay, so what we're gonna do is take trim, the trim tool. Where is it? Over here? Yep, perfect. So let's use that rectangle and let's just, just get rid of the right, um, get rid of the right pupil by drawing that white box. So you wanna make the white box over the right pupil. So all you have to do is use your Apple Pencil and just make the right the box over the, the other right. There you go. Good, perfect. So now, yeah, we just take that one, let's tap the gizmo. Okay, and let's do pivot. Center. Good, and pivot again just to just to set it. So now I would just move this pupil to where it looks good in that eye. Because then all we'll have to do later is mirror it. And you might have to make it again, you might have to make it a little bit smaller and maneuver it around. Okay, I might move it up a little bit. Okay, that's good. So you happy with that? It's very big. You can make it smaller. I don't know, is it too big? Some characters have big pupils, some not. Yeah, it's oh, all up to you. That's good. Okay, good. So now let's go to the C menu. And let's take the pupils and just do add. So just hit add on the top left of that window. And go down to the repeaters and just hit mirror. Perfect. So now it just mirrored it. So now it's on the other side. <gasps> so cute. Um, yeah, that looks really good. So now let's just make sure you take a look. So I would turn the canvas just so you can look at him and just make sure you don't want the eyes. Maybe the pupils are sticking out too far. <laughs> they're, out, definitely, they're definitely sticking out. Yeah, but it's actually it's actually far. not too bad. I think it's oh. I think it's doable. Like this. Leave it? Yeah, I think it looks good. Unless you want to make them flatter. No, I think they're too <clears throat> flat out. Okay, yeah, you can make them more flat. And you can either pull them in or you can use the... Um, yeah, because I think there's too much things like next to the arrow. So what happens is you're moving... Um, you wind up moving like other things. Okay. Unfortunately. How should I flatten them? So... The, how I would flatten them is probably using the blue sphere, that little blue sphere. Like I would, I would do the, I would do the opposite way. Now the only thing that's tricky is that just change the size. Okay, let me make it a little. So let's do that. So essentially, if you look at it this way, and now use the blue, the blue uh, sphere and and drag it to your left and see how it kind of flattens them out so they're not sticking out so far yeah so now just rotate with your finger with one finger there you go the hardest part and hit front i know that's been the it's a doozy okay that looks great that looks really good Okay, so next, uh, I think we're gonna we, have to speed this up a lot. I think uh, no, I must. And this is this is real time. So next, I think we want to voxel remesh the arms, the legs, and the ears together to make the whole thing like one body, and then we can just smooth it out. So, at this one. Uh, so go back to the scene menu and select. Well, first of all, let's uh, see where the mirrors are. We want to make sure that we, um, actually we don't have to validate that one. Let's validate the arms. So go to arm, the red arms and validate. Okay, perfect. So now let's take everything except for the eyes and the pupils. So select everything. I guess not the lights. You don't, really need, you don't need the floor either. You can undo the floor. So just do the body as well. 
Okay, good. So before we do this, let's hit save. So right to the left. Yep, we just want to save it in case it was to, in case it were to crash. Okay, our selections are still made. So now let's voxel remesh. And you can use the 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 uh, shortcut on the bottom. Just kind of swipe it up. Okay? And now let's just raise the resolution to like 250. All right, and remesh. Okay, good. So now let's take the smooth tool on the top right. Perfect. Uh, symmetry is on. So now it's, it's one complete shape. And you can see the line down the middle. So now kind of zoom in and smooth out around like the creases. The creases? Yeah, like so like body. where the ears... You don't want to do the mouth really you just want to do like where the ears come to the body and things like that so you can you can use one finger and kind of uh, slant it a little bit forward so you can have a better view up there good and you can kind of make bigger like movements with this move tool and you just kind of want to scribble it like maybe in a circular fashion and all it's going to do is just smooth it and it's going to look a lot more natural like it's one you know like it's one uh, one piece. Good, now I would do like a little bit on the back as well. So you just have to, I know this is hard, but you have to figure out how to rotate to the back. <laughs> so remember, use two fingers. Oh my God, I never will learn this. It's just like, just imagine that you're using like a big phone. I know, but I don't understand three dimensional space. That's true, clearly. There you go. And you can see it kind of changing a little bit, right? Yes. And the best part about the symmetry is you don't have to do like both sides because it's gonna do it automatically. Now do the same thing with the top of the arms as well. So good. Yep. Perfect. So now the legs. And it's okay to touch uh, the body. The only time you don't want to touch the body, or the only thing you don't want to touch is if you see the gizmo. You don't want to you don't want to touch near the gizmo, but you can touch the body. And that will actually make rotating him a lot easier. So now just like swipe right, right on his back, small movements. Yep. So just right on him, just remain on him and swipe right. So just try it, but just stay on his body. But where do you want him to go? There you go. You got it. So it's a little bit, so the only thing I was trying to show you is, so like if you're, if you're on him, it'll like rotate easier. But if you're out here, then it's a little bit harder to rotate. So just think of it as a big phone. And if you were trying to like get something in frame. And also it's it's nice to use your, your thumb. I noticed that you have a tendency to use you know, two fingers other than a finger and a thumb, which is great. Is but, it great? Uh, but it's good but when you use the thumb. You can do the front of the whole room. And those you don't really, you can do like, you don't actually have to go in circles. You can just kind of like scribble oh. and it'll, it'll kind of smooth it out. Okay. That looks good. That looks really good. All right. So, uh, I think that's it. The only thing left to do, it would be to, uh, would be to export it. So just find like a nice view. Like if you just want a front view or, and actually you can. What about the floor? Yeah, you can Is change. Is that gonna export like this brown color? It would, yeah. You can change the color if you want. I don't like so it. tap on the floor with your finger. Oops. And validate it. Okay. What color should it be? So whatever color you'd like. Mm. Gold.
have one that's not gold. So I think what happened is you, even though you tapped it, it mm. didn't really register. You like that? Do you looks not good. like it? No, 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 it looks good. It looks really good. I mean that's that's some of the fun the fun part is just kind of experimenting because like you have so many colors and so many textures and like all this other stuff. That's why it winds up taking mm. taking Looks a long good. time to do. Okay. Shh. So did I? Okay. Okay, good. So just find a um. Actually, go to the little camera menu on the top, all the way to the. This? There you go. Yeah. Perfect. So let's just hit uh, perspective. Okay, good. Uh, and yeah, that's good. So let's hit. So basically now, scroll around with your finger and just find a nice view that you want the view to be. It could be the front. It could be like a little bit tilted, three quarter profile, whatever you want. How come it's crooked? What do you mean? Seems like it's tilting to the right. Oh, you can hit the front. Good. So you like that? Mm -hmm. So go to the little camera menu again and hit add view. Okay, perfect. So now I would I would save this. So I would save the project. Okay. So, and now, uh, let's see, I think, I think that's all we need to do. So did you want to change the background uh, color as well? Because like right now it's really dark. Do you want to make it a lighter color? Yes. So you would do that in the, I think it's the, let's try, oh, I think it's the little picture icon next to the camera. Yeah, so now you can change the color there. See where it says color? Mm -hmm. And you would tap that colored bar right next to it. Yep. You can just uh, tap it. You can drag if you want, but I would tap oh. it. And then you could just adjust the color. How's that? That's great. That's great. Okay, so now let's go back to the little shutter right next to where you were on the top this? icon, uh, the opposite way. So hit the little, yeah, tap that. So let's put that all the way up to two where it says, yeah, perfect. Okay, that's good. So now let's go to the folder and save it again. And you can just go to the next icon. The other ones will automatically. I like to close them. I, I noticed. <laughs> okay, so that's good. So let's. Uh, drag that window up or scroll down, whatever's the best way to, there you go. Okay, good. So now you see render, and this is what, render is basically just like, it's almost like printing your image to like an image file. So we'll just use screen, which is where we are. You can, you, if you tap on 4K, uh, that just makes a different resolution as you can see. But actually let's keep it at 4K. I think that's actually fine since it fits in the middle. Okay. So now let's export PNG and OK. And that's it. Why did it get stretched up? I don't know why it stretches, but it always does that when you do a, uh, when you export it. But essentially that's pretty much like, that's pretty much it. So there's like some certain fundamental things. And the way that I like to sculpt, which is the way that I showed you, is just to use shapes and then just manipulate the shapes, um, you know, being as efficient as possible with them because really everything is just made out of shapes. So it's really not that hard to make a character like this. All you have to do is, if you know how to make a shape and then you know how to mirror, so you don't have to do both sides and everything is pretty, pretty much equal. But you can tell that it's not exactly uh, aligned and that's probably because certain things got turned a little bit you know what I mean like the eyes so they're not like per exactly perfectly what do you mean um <laughs> oh my god that was just like that meme that Jennifer Lawrence meme 
Um, What's wrong with them? See how like this one doesn't look symmetrical to this one. That's what they're slight, very slightly, very slightly. No, he's a little wonky. Very slightly, but that's actually fine because you know that's like human spaces are kind of wonky. So this is good. So we'll go ahead and hit the little arrow. Yep, and just hit save image. Okay, so now we have. And that's it. That's your saved oh, image. So cute. That's your first three D three D model. Oh my gosh! It has crooked eyes and everything. <laughs> that was fun. So, just just in closing. So I don't know. What did you think about like the process? Like, was it harder than you thought? Was it what you expected? Was it? Uh, it was. How do you think about your character? Like, what do you think about the whole process? It was easier than expected. Um, to create the character harder than expected to move him around, but I definitely don't think I could do it on my own yet. And I think he turned out really cute, but um, he's a little asymmetrical. <laughs> but I think he did a really, really good job. Thanks, I'm, honey. I'm impressed. So, um, so yeah, hopefully this this tutorial will help out people that have literally never done any no experience 3D. <laughs> their lives because you know it also helps me because there's just certain things that I don't think of that people will have might be confused about you know what I mean like if you were doing this tutorial and I was just talking I would there be no way for me to know that you were having issues like maneuvering it might around. just me be a me problem it might just be a you problem but that's the thing is like now if those other yous out there then that will really help them so hopefully this helped uh, make sure you check out my Skillshare classes. I'm now a top teacher. I'll put up my little thing at the end of it. But, uh, but I would like to thank my young Padawan, Sarah. I appreciate you giving your time to the people. And yeah, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Say bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> Heavens.